Hi, we're now going to have a look at the 2019 Leave Insert Ordinary Level Production Budget. As with all production budgets, we are given some information and we are asked to prepare different types of budgets down here below. So the first budget we're asked to prepare is a sales budget in units and in euro. So to get the information for this, I'm gonna go back up to the top of the question. So I can see that for superior, I'm gonna sell 5,400 units at 30 euro per unit. And for standard, I'm gonna sell 2,800 units at 20 euro per unit. So to fill in these figures into the budget, for superior is 5,400 units, and for standard is 2,800 units. And I'm getting these from the question here, 5,400 and 2,800. The selling price for superior is 30, and for standard is 20. I'm gonna put those in, 30 and 20. So to get the total selling price for superior, I'm going to multiply 5,400 by 30, which is 162,000. And for standard, I'm gonna sell 2,800 units at 20 euro per unit, which is 56,000. So to get my total sales, I'm just gonna add the two of these together, which gives me 218,000, and that's the sales budget complete. The second budget I was asked to prepare in the question down below is a production budget in units. So I want to see how many units I need to actually produce. So to do this, I start off with my sales and then I will add my closing stock because if I want to keep units for closing stock, I'm going to have to make those as well. But I'm going to take away the opening stock because I have those made from a previous period so I won't have to make those again. So whenever you're doing a production budget, you'll always start off with the sales units, you'll add the closing stock units and take away the opening stock units. And that will be the units you need to produce. So for superior, I can see from the question and above here that the sales budgeted sales units are 5,400 for superior and for standard are 2,800. Now I'm gonna add my closing stock because I'll need to make those if I want to have closing stock at the end. So my closing stock is 5,700 units and 420 units. So 570 units and 420 units. And I'm going to add those. And then I am going to take away the opening stock, stock because I have those made already. I won't need to make them again. So the opening stock is 610 and 530. And I'm going to add these down. 5970 minus 610 is 5360. And 3220 minus 530 is 2690. So to sell 5400 units of superior, I'm going to have to make 5000. 360 and to sell 2800 units of standard i'm going to have to make 2690. now the third part of the question asks us to prepare a materials usage budget in units so how many kgs of the materials will we use so to start off here i am going to get material a and b for superior so for superior, I'm going to have to make 5,360 units. I can see that here, 5,360. How many kgs of material A will I use? I will use up here, it tells me I'm going to use five grams of material A for superior and four grams of material B for superior. So I'm just going to get my units for superior, which is 5,360. And for material A, I'm gonna use five kgs. And again, I'm gonna start off with my units for superior, which is 5360. And for material B, I'm gonna use four kgs, which in total is 21,440 kgs. Now for standard, I'm going to have to make 2,690 units. So that's for the 2,690 and the 2,690 is coming from, from standard. And how many kgs of material A will I need for standard? It's three kgs or three grams. And for material B is two grams. So 
for standard for material A, it's 2690 by 3, for the 3 grams. And for standard for material B, again, it's 2690 by 2, we'll need 2 grams. So the total for material A that I'm going to need for superior and standard is 34,870. And the total for material B is 26,820 kgs. And that's my materials usage budget complete. The next budget I'm asked to do is a materials purchases budget. So for that, I'm going to get the information here. Now the six and the four I will use down here in part D in the materials purchases budget. So the first thing I'm going to start off for this budget is I'm going to get start off with my budgeted usage in kgs, which are just my final figures from the previous part of the question. So I, I think I'm going to need, going to need 34,870 kgs for material A, or grams for material A, and 26,820 grams for material B. But I also have opening and closing stock of these materials. So I can see here, the opening stock for A is 260 and for B is 370, and closing stock is 280 and 320. So similar to above, here, when we did our production budget, I'm going to add my closing stock and take away my opening stock. But now we're not talking, in part B, we're talking about units, whereas now we're talking about grams of material, just so you don't get confused. So I'm going to add my closing stock, which I will get from here, the grams. So the closing stock for A is 280 and for B is 320. So I'm going to add 280 for A and 320 for B. And I'm going to add those down. And then I'm going to take away the opening stock. So the opening stock is 260 for A and 370 for B. So whenever we're doing um, these production budgets, we're going to be adding closing stock and taking away opening stock, which is the opposite of what you would usually do when you are doing a trading account. Okay, so the budget of production for kgs for material A is 34,890, and for material B is 26,770. So what we need, the next thing we have to do is to multiply that by the budgeted purchase price. So if I go back to the question, I will get the budgeted purchase price for material A is 6, and for material B is 4. So six for A and four for B, and then I'm just going to multiply those because I'm going to have to purchase 34,890 kgs or grams, and that's going to cost six euro per gram. And for material B, I'm going to have to uh, produce 26,770 grams, and they cost four euro per gram. So I multiply that by four which is 107080. And the last budget we're asked to prepare here is a labor budget. So part E we're asked to prepare is a labor budget. So for the labor budget, I'm going to get the information from here. So the, the, to do the labor budget, the first thing we're going to start off again is with the budget production in units. See how many units we need to make. So we can see from above that for superior, I'm going to have to make 5360 units. And for standard, I'm going to have to make 2690 units. How many hours does it take to make a unit? So if we go back to the question, we can see that it takes four hours to make a unit of superior and three hours to make a unit of standard. So four by four and by three. 
So I'm going to multiply these then to give me the total hours for superior is 21,440. And for standard, it's going to take 8,070 hours. Now, what is the rate per hour? So if we go back to the question, I can see the rate per hour is 12 euro per hour for both. So 12 euro and 12 euro. So then to get the total labor cost for superior, I'm going to spend 21,440 hours by 12 euro per hour is 257280. And for standard, I, I'm going to spend 8,070 hours at 12 euro per hour is 96,840. So to get the total labor cost, I'm going to add the labor costs for superior and standard to give me 354,120. And part E was a small bit of theory. So for part E, it asked us why would Doherty prepare a labor budget? So the reason they prepare a labor budget is to determine the total cost of labor for the year. So what will labor cost the company for the year? To control labor costs, so to be able to see what the labor costs are and control them. To get a breakdown of labor costs between the two different products, so you can see what labor costs here for superior and also for standard. And then they will be able to compare the actual cost of labor for the year. So these are the budgeted costs of labor for superior and standard. And then when they incur the actual cost, to be able to compare them with the budgeted costs to see where they're above or below what they budgeted. So I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, would you please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.